What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, we have some big news. So, according to some sources that I have spoken to and reached out to, undefeated three-division world champion superstar boxer, Javante Tank Davis, who is 27 wins, no losses, no draw, 25 big wins by way of knockout, 5'5 five five with a 67-inch arm each. He took on and defeated fellow stablemate, lightweight title contender, star boxer, Rolando Roley Romero, who was coming into the fight, 14 wins, no losses, no draw, 12 wins by way of knockout, uh, 26 years of age, 5'8 with a 68-inch armage. The fight took place uh, May 28th, the Barclays Center, Brooklyn, New York, in which Javante Tank Davis, he scored a brutal six-round KO victory over Rolando Roley Romero. But this fight, it gained a lot of traction in the buildup. A lot part in due to uh, Javante Tank Davis brings the excitement. And a lot part in due to Rolando Roley Romero being a massive mouthpiece, okay? He built up this fight. He talked up this fight. He he stated that, you know, uh, he was going to knock out Javante Tank Davis. He convinced many people that he was going to beat Javante Tank Davis. And uh, with that said... It gained a lot of traction. It got a lot of people to uh, inquire about it. It, it. it got a lot of buzz, you know. Um, and with that said, you know, um, according to reports and the early numbers, Javante Tank Davis and Rolando Roller Romero, pay per view extravaganza, did 400,000 pay per view buys. That's a huge number. 400,000 pay-per-view buys is what I'm hearing. Now, give or take, it could be slightly less and it could be slightly more, okay? Uh, a few people have told me that they believe it's going to tally up to 450,000, okay? And then I have somebody that told me also, two people, two sources told me that uh, it's going to do around 375,000. So the consistent number I've heard is 400,000. And when your pay-per-view does very well, everybody is going to talk about it, okay? You're going to be able to get people to give you information when it does well. When it don't do well is when nobody wants to talk about it, okay? So with that said, you know, um, many people I have reached out to and there's people that reached out to me and said, uh, Javante Tank Davis did a big number, okay? We know he did, uh, he broke the gate record, okay, uh, at Barclays Center for a boxing event, okay? He sold uh, Live Gate, he did uh, 5 million at the Live Gate. That's the biggest number in um, the Barclays Center's uh, history for a boxing event, okay? Uh, you know, many people say in a sporting event, no, it's for a boxing event, okay? Um, because uh, we know that, um, you know, they have the NBA there and uh, the NBA is going to do massive record numbers. OK, we know they have, um, you know, um, other concerts and things of that nature uh, that's going to take place there. You know, uh, so there's many things that take place at the Barclays Center. OK, um, but for a boxing event, he did five million dollar gate at a boxing event. OK, that's the hugest number at a boxing event. OK. And so with that said, uh, uh, this is massive news, okay, that it's even being discussed that he did 400,000 pay-per-views, okay? If he did 400,000 pay-per-views, you know, uh, you got to think about this, right? Canelo Alvarez reportedly, with his last fight, and Canelo Alvarez, a four-division world champion, Mexican superstar boxer, who is widely considered by many, the face of the sport of boxing, he's the undisputed super middleweight world champion, top three best pound for pound fighters in the world with 57 wins, two losses, two draws, 39 big wins by way of knockout, got more knockouts than Javante Tank Davis has fights, 31 years of age, five foot eight with a 70 inch armage. While it's being reported, his uh, pay-per-views with his last fight in which he took a loss against undefeated WBA light heavyweight world champion Russian uh, star boxer in Dimitri Bevel, right? It reportedly did about 
300,000 pay-per-views, okay? Uh, some even reported that did 250, just didn't do a big number, okay? And so, Javante Tank Davis fighting a guy, you know, um, who is relatively unknown to the casual boxing fan, okay? Uh, um, and, you know, uh, isn't a superstar in the sport of boxing. To do 400,000, or even if he did 375,000, to 450,000. Let's say he did 375,000. That's still a massive number for today's climate with as many people that illegally uh, stream fights. You understand? So, again, when your fight don't do well, right? You know, you don't hear about numbers. There's no whispers. There's no conversation. Nobody's talking about it. You're just not going to hear numbers, okay? Uh, everybody keeps everything under wraps. Uh, we even had, we know, uh, Showtime president of sports, Steven Espinosa, when asked about Javante Tate, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, last fight with Isaac Pitbull Cruz, and many people speculated it just didn't do big numbers. Uh, you know, Steven Espinosa, he stated, well, there's no reason to uh, put these numbers out there, right? Um, and this was an ongoing thing, okay? Uh, it happens all the time. When the fighters don't do them well, right? Uh, you know, this is what happens. People keep it under wraps. But when a fight does well, oh, you're going to get more than one person telling you how good the fight did. Credible sources, okay? Uh, they're happy to boast and brag, and brag about the numbers. You understand? So with that said, you know, um... This is huge for Javante Tank Davis because he's a free agent. You understand what I'm saying? He's a free agent moving forward. And and so with that said, you know, uh, um, to do 400,000 and do a gate of 5 million, that's a testament to his superstardom. That's a testament and that's a confirmation of we know Mayweather promotion CEO Leonard Ellaby always tells us boxing world that uh, Javante Tank Davis is a star. He's a cash cow. He's, he's a superstar, right? We know Floyd Mayweather, you know, um, co uh, uh, co-signs him, right? Floyd Mayweather is the biggest star in boxing history. The only other star that can rival Floyd Mayweather is the late, great, legendary, iconic Hall of Fame superstar Muhammad Ali. And uh, legendary retired Hall of Fame iconic superstar Iron Mike Tyson. And even Iron Mike Tyson, Floyd Mayweather has surpassed Iron Mike Tyson. Now, Iron Mike Tyson is a global face no matter where he goes. So those are the only two boxers in the history that can rival that of Floyd Mayweather. So when you have Floyd Mayweather co-signing you and promoting you, um, that's a huge boost. But with this fight, he wasn't even involved because they were going through, you know, um, some rough patches. Floyd Miller didn't attend the weigh-in. He didn't attend the press conference and he didn't attend the fight. OK, uh, Leonard Ellaby did everything regarding this fight. And so. For him to do 400,000 pay-per-view buys. Is amazing in today's climate because. You, you have to think, right, that people illegally stream fights these days. People find ways. As I was talking about the fight and I was commentating on the fight and I had 6,000 people in my chat, I had tons of people asking me where could they stream and find the fight. They don't want to pay for it, right? And with today's technology... People now find a loophole, a way around paying for fights. So to get people to actually sit down and say, I'm going to give you my hard earned money at the live gate. I'm going to give you my hard earned money and sit in my living room and pay for this. And 400,000 people will do, do so speaks volumes about your star status. The, 
the sport of boxing, the face of the sport of boxing is changing. Uh, Canelo Alvarez is taking a step back with the loss. The aura of invincibility with Canelo Alvarez is, is lost now. Um, we have undefeated, newly crowned, unified, three belt, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, Earl the True Spence Jr., who's widely considered top two best pound for pound fighters in the world. He's doing big pay per view numbers. In 2020, he did the biggest gate of anybody in 2020, including Tank Davis and uh, including uh, Canelo Alvarez. And he's doing 300 plus thousand pay per view buys every single fight. Right? And for Errol Spence to do 350 was his biggest number. If Javante Tank Davis did 400,000 pay per view buys officially with Rolando Roley Romero, well, the torch has officially been passed from Canelo Alvarez to Errol Spence and Javante Tank Davis. This is huge. So obviously we have to see the official numbers, uh, international numbers, local, you know, things of that nature. But again, I've talked to at least seven different uh, credible sources close to the situation that have told me the least of num amount of number they expect in is 375,000. That's the least amount of number that I have gotten uh, that is uh, expected to be uh, um, um, produced. So this is huge. This is huge for Javante Tank Davis. It's huge for the sport of boxing. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Buzz Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like your shady videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.